Okay. Part two. Now, this is a continuation from part one done earlier. That's why I'd put the equation f equal ke here. Because you remember that this is the equation that we obtained. Now, the incomplete table below shows corresponding values of f and e. Okay. Using the equation obtained in C1, or otherwise, determine the value of x and y. Alright, let's see what happens here. We have f equal ke. So we could say, in this case, using the 8 and the 0 0.2, since f is equal to k times e, 8 is equal to the constant k times 0 0.2. So this will enable you to get the constant. Alright? Now the constant k is equal to, you divide both sides by 0 0.2. You get 0 0.2 over 0 0.2 that's gone so k alone we have um k on the right hand side so keep it that way for now so we have k on the right let's keep it that way for now you divide by 0 0.2 what is 8 divided by the divided by 0 0.2 you get 40 right so so far the constant is 40 so f equal ke 25 is equal to 40 times x so if you divide 25 is equal to 40 times x divided by 40 divided by 40 40 cancels 40 so 25 over 40 25 divided by 40 is 0 0.625 so 0 0.625 is equal to x so it seems so far x is equal to 0 0.625 what about y f is equal to ke y is equal to 40 times 3.2 so y is equal to so 40 multiplied by 3.2 give 128 128 so y is equal to 128 hmm interesting Let's look at this a bit further. Alright? Let's look at this a bit further. What we got for K was what? 40, no? Let's put K equals 40 up here as well. So K equals 40. Now, you have these numbers here 8 and 0 0.2 60 and 1.5 8 divided by 0 0.2 is it equals to 60 divided by 1.5 is it let's see multiply 0 0.2 by 10 you get 2 so multiply this by 10 it becomes 2 the top by 10 it becomes 80 80 over 2 is 40 hmm. so they're directly proportional f over e so far it shows 40 so it looks like it looks like 40 is the correct
constant so far but let's try this ag as well 60 over 1.5 if I multiply 1.5 by 10 and multiply 60 by 10 this by 10 this by 10 1.5 by 10 is 15 60 by 10 is 600 15 into 15 1 15 into 64 had the zero all right 40 so it seems as it is is 40 no by ratio 8 over 0 0.2 looking at this 8 over 0 0.2 is supposed to be equal to 25 over x all right 0 0.2 is 40 8 over 0 0.2 is 40 as we saw here so 40 is equal to 25 over x 40 over 1 is equal to 25 over x I could flip both sides, find the reciprocal of both sides and say 1 over 40 is equal to x over 25. And then multiply by 25, multiply by 25, 25 over 40. Now you know that 25 over 40 is equal to 0 0.625. And again, I get the 0 0.625 for x. I could also consider finding y this way. Here, the ratio should be the same. 8 over 0 0.2 for this here is equal to y over 3.2. 8 over 0 0.2 we know that that is 40 40 is equal to y over 3.2 40 over 1 is y over 3.2 if you multiply by 3.2 we get y equal multiply by 3.2 40 by 3 40 is 12 that's 120 plus 0.2 by 40, 2 4 is 8. 120 plus 8 is 128. So y is equal to 128. If we write y on the left now, y is equal to 128. So that's another way of getting the 128. So x is equal to 0 0.625 and y is equal to 128.